I love Peter. He has to be one of my favorite Bible characters. Maybe it's something about his blunt, no-nonsense ways that I connect with, constantly putting his foot in it. I guess there's a little bit of Peter in all of us. This swing from the zealous preaching without fear to the desperate hope that we don't get recognized as one of those Christians by someone in the office or at the game. There is often so much that we can learn from Peter about how not to do it. But I want to take this opportunity to look at a moment in his life where actually I want to be more like Peter. In Matthew 14, we see the disciples in the boat on their way to the other side. Jesus has sent them on ahead, staying behind to pray. Then, early the next morning, after a rough night at sea, buffeted and battered, the disciples look across the water and they see a figure. It says this, shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, take courage. It is I, do not be afraid. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. And then Peter got down out of the boat and he walked on the water and he came towards Jesus. I don't know about you, but I reckon I would have been a little freaked out. <laughs> I'm not at my best in the mornings at all. So still bleary eyed, I perhaps would have reacted in a similar way to the disciples with fear, pinching myself to make sure I wasn't still dreaming. But Peter stood up and he said, Jesus, if you tell me to come, and then with one word from Jesus, come. Big old Pete, he jumped out of the relative comfort and safety of the boat and into the unknown. In so many of the messages I've heard about this story, the emphasis is often on the fact that Peter took his eyes from Jesus and that he started to sink. His lack of faith when he looked at the waves but let's stop at the verse before that, verse 29. Peter got down out of the boat and walked on the water. Let me just say that again. Peter got down out of the boat and he walked on the water. That's right, he walked on the water. He experienced the miraculous. It's not every day that someone walks on water. I may be wrong, but I'm fairly sure the only two people that I can think of is Peter and Jesus himself. Can you imagine the sight from the boat as the other disciples watched plain old Peter step out onto the water and begin to walk? Now, I'm not ignoring the fact that he sank and he got properly wet, absolutely, but he walked too. So why am I laboring this point? Well, simply this, sometimes to experience the miraculous, you need to get your feet wet. The other disciples saw the miracle happen, but they didn't experience it for themselves. All because they stayed safe. I'm fairly sure that Jesus' response was audible to all the guys in the boat, yet only Peter stood up and got out. Every day, Jesus is calling us out and on into the unknown territories of the plans and purposes he has for us. But he's not going to force you to get out of the boat. He simply says, come. You know, it's our choice as to whether we risk getting wet. I don't know about you, but I would rather have wet feet because I heard the Father say, come, than to have never walked on water. Maybe today he'll call you onto the water. You know, fix your eyes on him. And let's prepare to get a little wet because the miraculous is waiting at the end of our obedience. Bless you.